Hi guys, I just got my package from OWC EU, one terabyte SSD for MacBook Air, mid-2012. I can't wait to install it. See you in a bit. Okay, everything is ready for the transfer. Like I said, one terabyte SSD, only the SSD. There are packages which include also an external enclosure to mount the existing disk on the computer and transfer the data. I just wanted the SSD. There are many ways to transfer data. First, you can use Time Machine. You can do a backup and then do a restore. It's very easy to do it. You can even save the entire data to an external disk and then transfer it back to the new one and so on. There are different methods. I will not go through them. The main topic for this video is to install one terabyte SSD on this MacBook Air 2012. There is another reason I'm not doing any transfer because I do not have any data on it. I transferred already the data to a MacBook Pro 14 inch with M1 Pro uh, CPU, which I'm preparing it and I will present it in another video. Also, I'm going to show you how to install macOS without an USB stick and of course with an empty disk. When a disk has macOS on it, it has also a hidden partition, which is a recovery partition with that partition you can reinstall macOS when I will put a new SSD will not have anything so let's open it up and replace the disk. This is the inside of MacBook Air 2012, mid-2012. There is not much to look at. You have only the main board and the battery. That's it. And this is the SSD, the one that we will replace. Okay. This is the original SSD, it's a Toshiba. As a side note, this is how it looks after nine years of usage. As you can see, this drive is in critical condition and failure may be imminent, but I have it like this for a year already and was still working. You can see time power down and power cycle count and unknown attribute. <laughs> Wear leveling count, if you're curious, after nine years of SSD usage, so 21 terabytes writes and 20 terabytes reads. Let me open this one and compare them before putting it inside. And that's pretty much it. We have to put this screw back in. Easy peasy. In this situation, when you have a new hard disk inside and there is no way to have operating system on it, an option is to have an USB stick with the operating system installer. But if you do not have this one, like I said, there is another way to do it. When you start the computer, you press Alt. Exactly when you hear the sound, I will show it to you right now. and you keep it pressed until you see uh, something on the screen. Now you have to choose your Wi-Fi and then you will have this internet recovery. And as soon as you press it, there is this spinning globe. This MacBook is reaching Apple servers and it will download the needed files in order to install the proper operating system on it. So yeah, if you attempt to install macOS via network, on this MacBook Air, you will get an older version. You can still do it, you can install this one and then download Catalina and upgrade it, no problem, but I don't want to do this. So I will just put the thumb, press the power button, the system will do everything for me, it will boot from USB stick. You see it has a very nice logo, OWC Aura Pro SSD. There are some things which I do not like when the OS is brand new. For example, trackpad, I do not like to press for the click. I like to tap to click, so I will enable this. And secondary click is enabled by default which is very nice. 
Okay, so 522 megabytes per second read and 501 write. Okay, perfect. So you have seen how to install new hard disk inside MacBook Air to replace the original one, which was not big enough with this addition with one terabyte ssd from owc i'm pretty sure this macbook air which is quite old from 2012 will still be able to handle a lot of browsing and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye